Hi guys, it's Hani here. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm gonna show you how to make delicious strawberry shortcake hoopie pies with a really pretty rose pattern on the top. So let's get started. Here are the ingredients. I'm using all-purpose flour, some cornstarch, buttermilk. If you don't have buttermilk, you can add some vinegar to the milk, let it sit for five minutes and then stir. Granulated sugar. I'm gonna be using some salt and uh, baking powder, lots of vanilla extract, some room temperature butter and one whole egg. First, stir or sift dry ingredients. I'm adding flour, cornstarch, baking powder and salt. Now beat the butter and sugar until creamy and smooth. Now take one egg, then add vanilla extract and using a fork or a small whisk, you want to break up the egg a little bit and just whisk it until combined. And now gradually add this mixture into your butter, beating well after each addition. Now gradually alternating add flour and buttermilk. You want to beat this on slow setting. Now take one tablespoon for green and two tablespoons for dark pink and also two tablespoons for light pink. We're gonna color the batter with food coloring. So I'm coloring two tablespoons with pink and then just tiny little bit of pink for lighter color or lighter shade of pink. And then uh, the other, other color that we are going to use is um, leaf green. So we need three colors to make the rose. And now you want to fill the piping bag or you can also use a small sandwich bag with the batter and set it aside. You also need to fill a large piping bag with the remaining batter. You can rest it in a cup, fold the tip and then place it back in. This way the batter doesn't ooze out as uh, it sits in a cup. Now I'm spraying my hoopie pie with a non-stick spray and then you can start piping. Now to flatten the tops a little bit I'm using back of the spoon and some water. Now, if you're following me on Pinterest, I uh, pinned this image into my cookie inspiration board and I'm gonna use it as my guide when I pipe the roses on these uh, hoopie pies. So all you have to do is cut the corner from each bag of your colored batter. And we are going to start with a green making the leaves. Now take dark pink and pipe the center. And now with a lighter shade of pink, just follow the design that I showed you earlier from the Pinterest board.
and really you don't have to think about it too much each rose can be slightly different they don't have to be all exactly the same so just go with the flow and now I'm going in with a darker pink and I'm just filling in the gaps Once you piped all of the roses, we are ready to bake these off. I'm going to bake these at 350 Fahrenheit for about 10 to 12 minutes. Once they are done, let them cool in the pan for a couple of minutes and then remove them, transfer them onto the cooling rack and let them cool completely. Now we're going to sandwich these. I'm going to be using a really easy, delicious filling, cream cheese filling. I'm not going to be using butter today, but if you'd like, you can also beat some butter first and then add the cream cheese. I'm beating cream cheese with powdered sugar. And here I'm adding some heavy cream to make it slightly thinner. You can also use uh, mascarpone cheese that I really, really love. Here I'm adding some vanilla extracts, just a little splash. I'm using a star tip and a piping bag and I'm going to fill the piping bag with the filling and now you can set this filling aside I'm gonna be using strawberries it's a strawberry shortcake after all so make sure you wash your strawberries and then slice them up thinly and now we are ready to put these together so pipe a nice swirl on the top Take the strawberries and arrange them on the top of the frosting. You can make these ahead of time. I'd say one day ahead is fine and just store them in a refrigerator. And that's how you make strawberry shortcake hoobie pies with a pretty rose pattern on the top. I've made other hoobie pie recipes on my YouTube channel. Please be sure to check these out. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you next time.